I mean between BTS and the Joe Bros, our new Music Friday playlist is stacked. Bradley and Irina split, and now the internet is bringing Gaga into this. And our favorite snack is now ready to wear. <laughs> Hello, internet. Welcome to The Download. I'm Denny Directo. And I'm Cassie Delar, and we've got our producer, Brianna Sutton, joining us in the control room. Hey, B, what are up? you wearing your white pants? Oh, you, oh, you can't, can't even, even see, see it. You guys, oh. Denny and I, wait, you got to be more flexible. I, hold on, hold on. <laughs> no, wait, what? I don't know where my cameras are. What is going this is on? A, oh man, we try to have a moment, guys. I'm wearing. You we're can't do that to we're me. both wearing white jeans. Uh, oh no, I have on black jeans. Sorry. Well, wow. this is going well so far. <laughs> Happy Friday, everybody. Brianna, thank God you're here. Well. Yeah. We have a lot to talk about. We, you know what? It's, I'm gonna blame it on the fact that Daddy and I are just on one because of all the new music that we have today. We have some hits from BTS and Charlie XCX. A blast from the past. They're back, the Jonas Brothers and Miley Cyrus. Plus, it seems like Future still cannot get over Sierra. He like cannot move into the future. There's a little something for everybody today, okay? <gasps> Let's start with BTS though, you guys. The three J's, Jimin, Jin, and Jungkook linked up with Charlie XCX for their new single, Dream Glow. And let me tell you, it is Bop City. Take a listen. Wow. Now, I know, right? We loved the Halsey collab, oh, and now this? Boy With Love was great, but this Dream Glow, I feel like it's totally next level. Yeah. Uh, what's amazing about it is that it's gonna be featured on BTS's new mobile game. Uh, I wanna get this right, BTS World, which launches on June yes. 25th. But I'm still here for this. I'm like, wait, uh, th th I'm on a plane today. This is at the top of the new playlist. Mine, I'm just gonna roll down the windows in my yeah. car, oh. jam out, I love it. And I know the, what you're jamming out to, though. Yeah, this weekend, and it's fully dedicated to the Jonas Brothers. Can you tell? Just released their brand new album, Happiness Begins, the first album in 10 years, yeah. a whole decade. Congratulations. And the best part, thank you so much. Yeah. The best part about this, you guys, is that, of course, they are naturally number one on the Pop Charts album. But the like, what's so funny and ironic about this is that at number two mm. is Miley Cyrus, <laughs> which makes it, like, I get it like, that we're, it? we're in a state of nostalgia right now, but, like, Literally, this is 2009 all over again. I kind of love it though. I love it, and Especially, I do love the album, I will say. I was gonna say, from what I've listened to so far, the Jonas Brothers really turned it out. Oh, they, did. they sure yeah. did, and I, I will have a full recap on ET Online later today of all of my favorite songs. All your favorite Which songs. Which we don't have time to get into on the download. We gotta <laughs> move on because I was gonna say, Future's got a new song. So Future dropped an EP called mm -hmm. Save Me. Now it features a song called Shotgun. Mm -hmm. The thing is that fans think he sampled his ex Sierra's 2006 classic, and actually one of my favorite Sierra songs, Promise. But we're gonna uh, play the clip for you guys comparing the songs, you be the judge. Okay. So that was Shotgun. Mm -hmm. Remember that, hold on to it. That's future song. Now here's Sierra's Promise. I'm looking for somebody I can call for. Hmm. I'm no music expert, you know. I'm not AR. I know. I, I, it's I hard for me the, to see the similarities. The tones and the tempos and all that. Yeah, I'm not an expert, but Brianna, I know you had some thoughts about this. You think it's pretty much identical. Is it right? pointed? Um, yeah, they're a little similar. It's kind of hard to notice it a right. little bit, but kind of in the chorus of mm. future song, you can hear how it does have some specific points in Sierra songs that mm. sound the very The kick similar. beats a little bit, yeah. 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 And like definitely bit. the tempo. I will say if he did in fact kind of sample right. promise. Oh, I hear that. Dun, dun. It's the, yeah. yeah. But if if he in fact did that, that's pretty bold of him. Yeah. Considering obviously they have a, uh, mm -hmm. a history together. They call off their engagement back in 2015. Uh, and they also share a son together, right. baby future. Right. So, I mean, shots fired, I guess. Shots fired. Right. Moving on, you guys. Lady Gaga does not have new music out today, but it turns out it was, you know, quite a bad romance for Bradley Cooper and Irina Shayk, who have officially called it quits. No, Gaga. No, Gaga, because now Gaga is dragged into yeah, this. Yeah, it's true. I was going to say, the internet was so quick, because obviously you guys remember there were those rumors right. that Bradley and Lady Gaga were um, essentially 
a thing because they work so closely together on A Star Is Born and their right. chemistry was just, I mean, you saw the Oscars performance. Right. It was it was very intimate. But she's in, in Devil's Advocate right here, Gaga said, they're, I mean, they're actors. Exactly. You, it's a love story and they had to portray love. That's what they wanted you to see. For sure. But that being said, the internet, like you mentioned, has brought Gaga <laughs> into this conversation. Here are some reactions from the internet <laughs> on the split. Star Is Born stand Twitter on their way to ship <laughs> Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper now that he and Irina have called it quits. <laughs> Everyone, grab your stuff. We gotta go. Fire drill. Go, exactly. go, go. Is there another one we could pull up? Here we go. Bradley Cooper and Irina Shayk have split. Bradley and Lady Gaga shippers waiting to see them together, like holding up that uh, video cam. The power waiting of the it. shippers apparently infiltrating everywhere because look at this one. Lady Gaga at Bradley Cooper's door the moment she realized that him and Irina Shayk broke up. This next one's my favorite though. Which one? Don't we have Which one more? One? Do we? Do yes, we? this one. Oh. Explain the significance of Bradley Cooper and Irina Shayk splitting up to my coworkers at our <laughs> staff meeting tomorrow. <laughs> Guys, I'm not gonna lie. After news uh, that they had split yeah. broke yesterday, I'm on a text thread with some producers mm -hmm. on, on uh, at ET, and all of us were just going in on it. Like, oh my, well, it's, it's the top, it's the water cooler conversation today. It's funny that you mentioned that that was your favorite tweet because my favorite tweet was yours when you actually used the gif of Lady Gaga from the Super Bowl. <laughs> Lady Gaga off to pick up the pieces. Bradley! <laughs> <laughs> I had to have I a saw, little Listen, uh, the internet agrees with you on that one. I saw a lot of very similar tweets. But you know what? I, I do feel bad, obviously, that, you know, it's never a, a good thing when, you know, couples decide to split. It is sad and we have to respect their right. their issues that they have and, you know, maybe not bring Gaga into this, well, but... To be clear, I will say a source told ET that Gaga was not a factor in the split. In fact, you know, as you mentioned, Lady Gaga had shut down rumors that they were an item on Jimmy Kimmel after the Oscars performance. Uh, but another source close to the couple did tell, I t uh, tell E.T. that uh, Bradley and Irina, they had their problems for a while and decided it was best right. to end their relationship. Of course, they're going to keep it amicable, amicable for the daughter that they share. They just realized that the relationship yeah. kind of ran its course. Right, and they love and respect each other. And So there you have it, Internet. Yeah, there you go, Internet. Do, do not bring Gaga into this. I know I tweeted that, too. I'm just having a little fun. It Entertainment. It was good. Retweet. Was, thank okay. you. Okay. All right, guys, first, it was a Taco Bell collaboration, and now Forever 21 has an entire line of Cheetos clothes, and it is flaming hot. You guys, you will be the hottest, no pun intended, person at the pool if you rock some of these items. I mean, they have slides, they have the slides bathing suits, they have towels, they have so many different items. They have crop tops. See, in the, you could even wear that bathing suit as a bodysuit, too. With jeans. some uh, distressed yes, jeans. Yes. Look at that. Oh, it's bedazzled. I was going to say, that is a bedazzled crop right there that I might need to get my hands on. Or some Cheeto shorts. Oh, yeah. We've uh, got even, like, sunglasses, too. But the best part, the items, you guys, range from $5 and $30. Really? Yes. Oh, so it's cheap. Super cheap. Okay, thank you for everything. Yeah, you want some undies? <laughs> hey, listen, you want to look like a snack? There you have it right there. Flaming hot Cheetos, y'all. I swear to God, where do you come up with this stuff at? You know, it's a gift from God. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's well, Friday. Well, that collaboration is a gift from God. It truly is, yeah. Um, well, maybe not so much a gift from God as this next uh, situation because Color Us Confused, a hotel in London, is building an infinity pool on its roof, but the internet, us included, don't know how like, one is to get in or out of the pool. Take a close look uh -huh. at this pool, you guys. So this is the pool. It's a 360 degree infinity pool uh, on top of a 55 story hotel, 600,000 liters of water. But like- It looks terrifying. It looks terrifying. But the big question that the internet has is how in the hell do you get in or out of it? I don't see a ladder anywhere. No. Well, here's, here's the deal. Apparently swimmers enter via a rotating spiral staircase. I don't know where that staircase is, but the uh, Compass Pool, who is in charge of all of this, and the pool designer said that normally a simple ladder would suffice, but they didn't want the stairs right. to like ruin the aesthetic of it, basically, and spoil the, the view, and they don't want, obviously, water draining through the building. So there's gonna be a rotating spiral staircase 
based on the door of a submarine that will rise from the pool floor when a swimmer wants to get in or get out. I really, I, I, I don't, I, I don't get it. What? I don't know how, I don't know how, what, I don't know. I don't get it. I don't get it. I'm really confused. I'm already afraid of heights as it is. Like yeah. this does not look fun. Is this what taxpayers money is going towards? Well, here's the best part, you guys. London, London rains on average 106 days of the year. So why are pool? we doing this? I will say that the, uh, it's pretty cool, but as, it looks rich. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, um, I wonder if they charge a cover just to get in the pool. And for the record, that is a rendering, you guys. The pool begins construction early 2020, but right. still, this photo is making the rounds and the internet mm -hmm. had some reactions to it. I hear a couple of tweets, actually. A lot of people comparing this infinity pool to Sims. <laughs> this is our girl Ash Crossin over at ET Online. She tweeted, anyone who played Sims knows how right. it ends for these three people. And going off of the Sims, you guys, look, someone even drew up a mock Sims saying, we know how this goes. And even to kind of even give you like a, a, a crazy, like real life perspective of it, here's another one literally right. from the Sims right there. Wait, Brianna, did you play Sims? I did not. I missed out on The Sims. Oh phrase. my God, The Sims was my jam. Rosebud using the code Rosebud to get infinity money. Rosebud. I mean, why can't life just be like that where I just say a code? Apparently, like that? it's going to be in London. But apparently, but here's the thing I think someone who had the best tweet about this pool, was you. if we could pull this one Yours up, because hilarious. the first thing I thought of about this was having flashbacks of Getty G being stuck in a rosemade at the West household. If you guys remember, Kim Kardashian tweeted, I forgot what holiday this was, might have been Mother's Day or something, that Kanye had literally gotten Kenny G. Oh, Valentine's be, Day. Oh, it was Valentine's, it was Valentine's Day. Day. Do I have that? Do, do we put that there? Yeah, it was it Valentine's Day. Yes, it was. Valentine's Day. And everyone was like, how does he get out? But what you didn't see was that there was a path. Just like apparently with this infinity pool, there's a spiral staircase that we don't see. I love that we have to hatch an escape plan for these things, you know? And don't mm -hmm. worry, guys. No Kenny G was harmed in the making of this Valentine's Day gift. So there you have it. Uh, no, no fake Sims. Oh, I forgot. Oh, my, my God. One. Oh, scroll down a little bit. Yeah, this, this is my favorite reaction, I think. Actual footage of how you get in and out of the pool. <laughs> this, guys, is a video, and Brianna, I know you flagged this for us yesterday, is a video that went viral this week. This lady being helicoptered because of an emergency, yeah. but the, the thing is spinning. Like, she's spinning. Yeah, so apparently that's how you get in and out of the pool, via Can, helicopter. I won't be getting in that pool at all because I can't swim, but yeah, that's <laughs> both of those things are pretty terrifying. Wait, so. you can't swim? No, you and I John Legend swim. gotta go take some classes yeah, together. We do. That's right. Uh, that, unfortunately, though, is not our MVP today. Though. I know, that should have been Guys, MVP. no, this is my MVP <laughs> for life, okay? Most viral posts. It's this three-year-old, my spirit animal. You know, three-year-olds usually choose princesses right. or cartoons for their birthday party theme, but not this little three-year-old, no. She had a nun-themed party. Nun as in the horror movie, you guys, based on The Conjuring. Not like, God would be proud of you. No, like it's this movie. little spooky movie. Oh, I think it's so funny. Like, the three-year-old, if you go back to the photo, literally did the makeup. Her piñata is the nun. Like, her cake is black. This is just so next level. I also love that she, her name is Lucia, though, because oh, yeah. that's my confirmation name. Like, it's such a religious name. Yeah. So, like, I feel like it is still on brand with the nun. And, like, shout out to her family who are just like, yeah. We're gonna give this to you. You want a nun? You want a nun for this? Here party? you go. Uh, her cousin went to Twitter to share the odd celebration, and of course, it went viral. Uh, even got the attention of Jordan Peele. A lot of things have been getting Jordan Peele's attention. This Maybe week. even some inspiration for a future horror movie. Right. But he said, Does she have a godfather? <laughs> It's so good, it's so good. Well, little Lucia's cousin told uh, a news outlet in San Antonio, Texas, that uh, she doesn't even watch scary movies usually, but she really likes The Nun. Yo, this is straight up a scary movie right here. Look at all the little kids got their faces painted too. And in case you're wondering, yeah, because all her friends were in on it too. Uh, in case you were thinking, okay, isn't this too scary for kids? Apparently Lucia, uh, her mom told everyone that The Nun is protecting her. Mm. So there you have it. Yeah, but, back to the religious theme too, protection. Respect. I love that. What a great theme. Uh, what kind of theme did you have when you were a kid for birthday? I don't, I don't even remember. remember. I, I had a whirly ball party, but. See, I was raised with the whole like bounce house in the backyard, yeah. throw the kids back there. There is no theme, you know? <laughs> it's just like keep the kids locked up in, in the bounce occupied. house and all the parents are drinking Coronas. You and know no I mean? injuries. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Or they would like tip the side of the bounce house over. Anyways, that B, was the... did you, really quickly, did you have any fun themed birthday parties or was it like the nun? Mm, no, I never. <laughs> had any themes it was kind of just i just went to chuck e cheese all the time that was exactly. it too. well yeah. that's a that's a horror film right there <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the animatronics exactly.
cheese. Yeah. Oh, so good. Well, you guys, that does it for the download today. Happy Jonas Brothers release day. We're going to thank you so much. Ten years in the making, guys. This is major, okay? Well, it's better than Christmas, you guys. <laughs> better than Christmas. All right, you guys, I won't be here on Monday. He's off to the Tony Awards Please. in New York City. Yeah. Make sure you watch the stream. Tell everyone where you will be We'll on be streaming Sunday. live on Sunday, 5 p.m. Eastern here on ET Live. We'll bring you all the best that Broadway Yay. has to offer. It's the day of the Tonys. It's really exciting. So. He's gone. But we're still having a download on Monday, so please tune in. Until then, you guys, I'm Denny Directo. And I'm Cassie Delora, and that is Brianna Sutton in the control room. Bye, guys.